Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyendra Kumar and in this video you will learn how we can use RAG conditional formatting in progress circle chart. RAG conditional formatting means red, amber and green color uh, by using the conditional formatting in progress circle chart. So as you can see uh, here I have service level which is 25 and here I have given the color range if my service level will be below 70% then this chart will be in red color if the range will be 70 to 90 then this chart will be in amber color and above 90 will be in green so let me show you currently service level is 25% so that is the reason this is the in red color if i will change the service level value let's say 65 then still it will be in red but if i will change the value as 75 which is above 70 then it will be amber 70 to 90 okay if i will take 85 then still it will be in amber color if i will take uh, 92 or 95 then it will be in green okay friends so uh, we will learn how we can create this chart with this conditional formatting in microsoft excel so let's start i'm just copying this range and going to add a new worksheet click on this plus button and i will paste this range here okay so we will create our chart in this worksheet c2 so before creating uh, this chart i need uh, some support column so i'll take here I will put if condition if this value which is H1 means service level is greater than 70 sorry less than 70 first of all we will take for red so we will take less than 70 percent then it will show 1 otherwise it will show 0 just close this bracket and here for amber I will take if this value here are two condition so we will use and function and then i'll take logic one is h1 is greater than or equal to 70 percent then or uh, logic two will be h2 is less than or equal to will take 90 percent then break it close for and then it will take one otherwise it will take zero and just close this bracket okay friends now uh, we will create the formula for above 90 so it will be if h1 value is greater than 90 percent then it will take one otherwise it will take zero and just close this bracket all right friend now here i will create a formula for red color we will create the donut chart so we'll take a range from column b so i'm putting here a condition sorry not a condition and just uh, press equal to and for red i'll take this i3 and press f4 to freeze this all right and press delete now i'll drag this formula till row number 20. so just fill this formula down now on row number 21 i'll take amber and here i'll put formula equal to and then i'll go to the i4 which is for amber and just press f4 to freeze this and press enter now i'll fill this formula down till row number 40 till here just press ctrl d now on row number 41 i'll type green and here i'll type the formula equal to then i'll go to the i5 which is for green and then i will press f4 to freeze this and then press enter so it's taking the value from uh, row cell uh, i5 and just fill this formula down till row number 60 all right now i'll select this 
रो नंबर वन टू रो नंबर सिक्सटी ऑन कॉलम बी देन आई गो टू द इंसर्ट एंड चार्ट एंड आई विल इंसर्ट आर डोनर चार्ट दिस वन All right, friends. Now I'll remove the chart elements, legend. So I'll keep only chart like this, and just keep this chart here. I'll go to the view and remove the grid lines first of all from the box sheet, and select this chart. Then go to the format and remove the shape outline from the chart and shape fill. For the chart as no fill. Now uh, you can see here service level is 100% and this is for green. You can see one here. So what I will do, I'll select a slice of this donut. Double click on any one. Like I have selected this one. Then I'll go to the uh, this fill and line option and fill. And I'll take solid fill. And here color I will take green. Green because currently you can see uh, bun is in front of green. So we are changing the color for green. All right. So I'll fill it as green. Then double click on the second one and just press F4 to repeat the action. The third one. Then again press F4. Fourth one F4. So we will do the same activity for the other slices also. Okay, we have filled the green color now in the entire chart. You can see. Now, what I will do? It is only for the green color because here you will see one is available only for green, and rest is zero. So only green uh, color slices are available, and we have filled it as green color. Okay, so what I will do? Uh, now I'll take another value here like seventy five. So you can see one is in front of amber now. So what I will do? I'll fill the amber color as I have filled green color. Now this time I will take amber color. Double click any of these lines so that it will be selected. Then go to the fill and line option and take solid fill. And the color I will take amber. This one, orange or amber. Okay. Now uh, select another slice and press F4. To repeat the action, F4, F4. Okay, friends. Now I have filled the amber color. Now I'll take here value below 70 so that one uh, should be in front of red. Let's say I'm taking 60. So you can see one is in front of red. Now color again has been changed. So now I'll select one slice again and go to the Fill and line, solid fill. The color I will take this one, which is red. Now select second slice and press F4 to repeat the action. All right, friends. So now we have filled all three colors. So we can check if I will uh, change the value as 75 or 80, then it should be amber. Okay. And now if I will take let's say 98, then it should green. So it's working. Okay, now uh, friends, what I will do here? I'll put a formula, and that will be, uh, sorry, 100% or one minus the H1, which is the actual service level value. All right, now right-click on the chart and go to the select data. Here you can see uh, this add option available. Click on add. And then series name I'll give service level, and series value I'll give this range H1 to I1. Click on OK. Click on OK. You can see another donut has been created outside of the first donut. So just select the outside donut and go to the format first and remove the shape outline from here. Then right-click on this and go to the chain series chart type. And here, friends, you can see uh, this service label available. You can take the secondary access from here. But if you are using Excel 2010, then you will not get the uh, secondary uh, access option for the donut chart. So what I am uh, doing here, 
I'm just changing the chart type. I'm taking pie chart. So it will work in 2010 also now. And then take the secondary access. So secondary access will be available for the pie chart in Excel 2010 also. Okay, friends. So click on, check on this and click OK. Now here you can see this pie chart is available. Now select this orange color, double click on this and then go to the fill and line option and choose no fill. Sorry, uh, solid fill and then take uh, color as white and then transparency give as 20%. Now double click on this blue slice and take it as no fill. All right, friend. Now you can see a donut. Uh, this progress circle chart is ready. If I will change it 25, so it's working. If I will change it, let's say uh, 68, then it's working. If I will take it as 72, then it should be in amber, so it's working. If I will take it as 89, then it will be in amber. But if I will take it as 91, then it will be in green because above 90 should be in green. All right, so I have created this chart, but now the time to create this uh, data label, which change according to the uh, this color uh, or the range. Okay, so if I will take here, let's say 25, then you can see this uh, data label is also changing the color. Okay, so here uh, now what I will do, I'll put a formula here, and the uh, basically I'll take the same formula, this one, and just paste here, but in uh, place of one I'll take the h1 value okay and uh, for this I'll take for amber color I'll take the same formula and just paste here and in place of this one just take the h1 this one and for green also I'll take the formula from i column and just paste here in place of this one I'll take this h1 and press enter just change the uh, formatting as percentage you can change it from here like this okay friends now what i will do i'll go to the insert and then i will insert a tax box from here and just drag this tax box here now click on this tax box then go to the formula bar and press equal to and just link it with the uh, red so i'm taking first one with j3 which is for red and just press enter now format this tax box so align it middle middle and then uh, the font name i'll take uh, i'll take impact okay and then size uh, around 30 35 this one all right uh, now we can give uh, Word art style, so I'm giving this one, but the color I'll take red because this is for the red color. Okay, now go to the format and remove the outline. You can see the outline and the color fill available in this tax box, like this. If I will keep here, uh, so I'll go to the safe fill and take no fill, then safe outline, take no outline. All right, now this is transparent and now i'll make a copy of this and just paste this here now i'll change the range in place of j3 i'll take j4 for amber so you can see uh, the style has been changed so just uh, copy of this and make another copy and here i'll take j5 in place of j4 all right so select the first one and go to the home double click on format painter just click on first click on second okay but for the second one which is for j4 i'll take the amber color so i'll take this color and for the last i'll take green color all right now select all three tax boxes go to the format align this center then align this middle and right click make this group and just keep this here now we will change the formula so in place of zero in the last you can see here i'll take blank so double uh, go it here like this so take the blank in place of zero 
Alright friend, now you can see if I will change the value, let's say 85, then it will be in amber color. If I will change the value as let's say 65, then it will be in red color. If I will take 98, then it will be in green color. So friends, that's how we can create a progress circle chart with RAG conditional formatting. I hope you have enjoyed this video friends. Thank you so much for the watching.